to the show with y'all last week. That was awesome. We're going to see if we can actually get this to stream to Facebook We're tonight. trying to see. We're trying. But you know, when it comes to him pushing buttons and all. Sometimes it fails. You just never know what's going to happen. But we're so glad to I'm be back with y'all tonight. I'm we're streaming. Oh, no, not yet. I, I don't know. It says going live in 0.00. It says Again. 84 views right there. 68. Yeah, yeah I don't I don't. What about YouTube? Is YouTube live? Make sure before we. Uh-huh. YouTube is YouTube is there. All right. That's all that matters. We're there. No Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, first off, I want to do the community spotlight. So, if you're not a part of the Facebook community, it's facebook.com slash groups slash 731 Bullworks. You go there, click join. You're going to answer two questions. Will you be nice? Basically, and what's your favorite tool? Once you answer those, you'll be approved for membership. And uh, so, each week, our daughter, who's not into woodworking, has no idea what she's looking at. She picks... The, the spotlight. So that's how it's chosen because she don't have a dog in the fight. This is the spotlight winner this week. Dylan Grant. And, and when I say winner, he just gets a big old virtual fist bump. Any uh, gamers in the group, he says he made a headphone stand that also holds a controller. Very, very cool. I actually like that design a lot. That looks really nice. Good job, Dylan. I'm trying to look in there and I still don't see it coming through. Coming but, through yeah, where? I'm on Facebook. I'm just. No, I hope I'm, it come I'm, on Facebook. I'm just trying. No, I'm if talking about the video. Uh, I don't know uh, what's going uh, on. It, it, it didn't. See? Are you sure? Uh huh. Look. I'm all. I don't Mr. think you know what you're doing on I Facebook. I have no clue. I have no clue. <laughs> I'm not trying to hide that fact. Uh, really quick before he does his mail call. We had someone post, it was Bubba Hines made a post to our group. There was a fire oh, yeah. um, and he lost his shop and his business to it. And there was a post in the community about it mm -hmm. and it looks horrible. So they just, uh, we got a message about that. Just asking if everyone would lift him up in prayer. Very much so. So if you don't mind, just everybody whisper a prayer for Bubba Hines and his family because that cannot be easy. No, that's bad. Bad deal, man. Yeah. All right. While he's doing that, go ahead and smash that like button while you're on there. If you're in the chat or if you're on your mobile, you can just leave out of the chat, hit the like button and come right back into it. So we appreciate that. So we ha I haven't been to the PO box. So if anybody's sending anything, it's still there from last week. I haven't been by there. So yeah. apologize for that. <laughs> Harvey Helm sent me his book. He, ma he actually made this book um, that has piggy banks in it made out of wood extremely cool like mm -hmm. there's detailed uh dimensions and uh templates and just all kinds of stuff and this is really cool thank you very much then uh let's see s i'll try to show you show your address i'm sorry <laughs> s salgado <laughs> sent me a saw stop sticker put that yep. in the shop thank you you're so funny <laughs> and I won't say her first name because I didn't ask for permission, but um, should I even say her name at all? You just say her first name and not her last. Okay, that's a good idea. Uh, Trooper Leslie, thank you for the Kentucky State Police <laughs> 0731. So that makes four I have now. I have Utah, I have Kentucky, I have Texas, and I have Maine. I need, uh, what, 46 more. He needs a lot, a lot more, y'all. I don't have a 731 Arkansas State Police, mm -mm. so... If any of y'all are soft tape, man, I need one of them. But I do have an F-30. <laughs> so, like if you haven't already, go ahead and drop that state so we can give you a shout out uh, about halfway through the show tonight. And these aren't necessarily gifts per se because I'm an affiliate for Brunt Workwear. and But they did send me a pair of work pants to check out. I haven't put them on yet, but they look pretty cool, pretty thick, and uh, looks like they'll last a good long time. I actually put a link to Brunt in the video description if you want to go check them out. And the reason I did that is I have these work boots that they also sent me uh, a few months ago, actually. I've been wearing them almost every day, and they are extremely comfortable. And Yeah, like he, really, he really does like wearing <laughs> those. He, I don't think he would lie to you about it because he he's pretty, pretty brutally particular. honest when it comes to shoes. Yeah. Uh, I have... Uh, Bradley, we miss you guys, too. I don't particularly like the lace-up of work boots. This is the first pair of lace-ups I've ever had, only because I'm lazy and I'd really just too, pull Michelle. them on and go. They have a pull-on pair, but I chose these because I'd never had lace-ups. But these are actually 
extremely comfortable. When I put them on in the morning, they usually don't come off till late in the evening. So I like them a lot. Hey, you can I check them out. Link in the description. Wall over here. Maybe. 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 I'll fix it if I did. If you have woodworking questions uh, that you want like us to try to answer, or if you need help from the community on here, go ahead and drop that in the um, comments. Just put a Q in front of your question so we know it's a question, and you'll be on. We missed all of y'all so much last oh, week. I got but one more. I'm sorry. We did have a good time. We'll tell y'all a little bit about yep. it. One more mail call. This is from Orange Stripe Creation. They actually, actually have an Etsy store, Orange Stripe Creation. These are... These are taped together. I haven't untaped them, but they're 3D printed drill holders. They'll hold almost any any brand of drill. I'm actually going to put them on the end of the workbench where I put my battery holders, and they'll screw in like that, and then your drill drops in there, and it holds it. Really, really cool. I'm actually going to put those on this week. I actually didn't have them put on because I was waiting for the mail call. Thank you. All right. And I dropped them. <laughs> So last week, the reason we were gone is we went to Utah. It was actually the destination, but we had to... We, we spent a couple of nights in We stayed in Vegas. the first night in Vegas, and then we got up the next morning early and drove to Utah, stayed there for three days, come back to Vegas, stayed the night, and then flew out the next day. Vegas, mm. kind of cool to see. We don't drink, Man. we don't gamble, so it's really not our speed, but we did have fun. We went to a Chris Angel show. It was probably good 20 years ago. Um, <laughs> I mean, if I'm being honest, it was fun. We had fun, right? But That's like, awful. You saw it like she could see some of the magic okay, tricks okay. happening. and. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <sighs> You're so mean. Oh, my gosh. All right. Here's the thing about that. I'm not he was mean. very yes. He was, was very funny. He was very funny. funny. He was entertaining. It was an entertaining show. I'll say that. Um, he shared a very private situation yep. with his son and stuff, a very vulnerable mm -hmm. and... Hey, he's got a good cause. He's got a very good cause. Really good cause. The show had some issues. <laughs> I mean, you always, when you watch shows like that on TV, you always think, yeah, they plant people in the audience. Y'all, they really plant people in the audience. <laughs> some bad actors. <sighs> like, but he was oh, really funny, oh. and it was fun to watch it, mm -hmm. and it was fun to experience that. It was. It's it was just not time. our cup of tea being in Vegas. Freddy Krueger got some Freddy Krueger hands. And it just. Mm. Anyway. Yeah. Who knew there were street performers dressed up as Freddy Krueger and the clown off of it and Batman and Mickey hey, Mouse. Hey, Batman was cool. Minnie Mouse. Mickey. And then all those other characters just walk around the street. I really don't know how they get paid. Uh, I'm assuming people tip them or something. I don't know. It was just odd. We don't have that in South Arkansas, y'all. Not even a little bit. Well, maybe a little, but not like that. You know what I'm saying? You did not have to drop her name. <laughs> anyway. Somebody <laughs> asked me a question. I got to go back. <laughs> What's the best kind of joints or the strongest joint? I would say the strongest, probably Morris and Tenon. If you get you a Festool Domino, it makes a real quick loose tenon, and it's extremely strong. Dow joints are extremely strong as well. Uh, Dow Max actually done some tests. If you go to Dow Max website or Dow Max on YouTube, they actually tested the strength of theirs to a Festool Domino. And they're, I think they're in their testing, the Dow's were stronger, but it, it's like thousands of pounds of pressure or something. It's not going to break. So that's what I say. Mm -hmm. Don't take that as, as the gospel, but I'm pretty close to right anyway. So we can't really go into a whole lot of details about it, but we do want you guys to know that last week was a very productive week for us mm -hmm. because it was a business. It, it was a business thing. So we had to, the reason we flew to Vegas was because the closest airport didn't have any flights from our area to go to the smaller airport there. So we wound up flying mm -hmm. into Vegas and then driving two and a half hours to the destination. So we, and by necessity, had to go to Vegas, but it was a business trip is what it was for, yeah. for this business or similar to it. So. Mm -hmm. so we have a lot of exciting things that we're working on, and we cannot wait to share all of those with yeah, you guys. It's going to be a while. It's going to be several months, probably. Several months. But things um, take time. Good good things come to those who Yeah. Wait. So <laughs> uh, we're super excited, and we want you guys to be here with us when that happens. So, um, oh, we can I, Man. <laughs> I'm just so ready to talk I about it. I texted her today. I was like, can we please talk about it? I know. And I said, no, no, not yet. It needs to be a, a surprise. You know, the best kind of prize is a surprise kind of deal. <laughs> um, 
And so we're super excited and we're working on stuff that is, it's because of you guys being out there with us the mm-hmm. way you are. Um, and so I hope, I hope that y'all get excited with us in these next few months. Yep. And yeah. it'd be awesome. Yeah. As soon as we get some stuff finalized, we can yeah. share more information with you. We're not yes. going to keep it up hidden all the way up until we're going to keep it hidden all the way and not tell you <laughs> anything. <No. laughs> what is the best low budget dust collection system for under hundred dollars? Not, I don't think it's under hundred. I think it's right there at a hundred. If you look at the home, right, not the home, right. It's the dust, right. Um, uh, what do you call it? Dust separator. It hooks into a shop back. I've got one. I've done a video on, I think it was volume two of the five tools you didn't know you needed. If you go watch that, it's in that video. It works extremely well for a budget option for, dust collection that's what i would say or you can get those there's some bucket type ones too but this one's like a 10 gallon so it's going to hold decent amount more dust than the five gallon bucket that's why i chose it i didn't see elvis not the whole time we was out there no elvis no we sure didn't elvis was not in the building in vegas i just realized that we Mm -hmm. didn't see a single person matter of fact we went to madame tussauds um wax museum that was and a letdown. In the chapel where Elvis was supposed to be, it, it said something about Elvis it had, had George left the Clooney. building, and George Clooney was yeah. like wax figures, like standard. Yeah, it. it uh, I didn't get it. Um, Vegas was different. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ron Twelve Ism says, "What kind of hardwood can I use for ingrain cutting boards? I'm new to woodworking. Most any hardwoods will do. You can use um, walnut, maple, purple heart, uh, paduk. Any of those will work." Very well for that. Uh, I think uh, Brother Riv is on here. He actually used white oak, was it? Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it was white oak that we got in there. He sent us a white oak uh, cutting board. And it was, and so any, most any of your hardwoods do perfectly fine for that. Uh, Shockwave Woodworks, what is the best advice when starting a new woodworking YouTube channel? Shockworks, what I would say is, or Shockwave, I'm sorry. Don't get caught up in the views at first. Post consistently. And just practice makes perfect. Uh, I, I'm I'm a big proponent of just press record, and you'll figure it out along the way. Some are more strategic, and they think you need to kind of figure some things out before you go. But if you go watch Think Media, they've got over a million subscribers, and they basically teach you how to grow a channel. They have some good tips, and that's one of the things that's in, in their intro is you got to just press record. It's kind of what, what they say. So just push record and start filming stuff, and I wouldn't focus so much on project videos unless it's a really cool project. So uh, here lately, project videos aren't doing as well on YouTube as uh, some other type of content. So if you got a a unique angle or something uh, that you can put your spin on, that's what I'd say. You go ahead and read questions. I'm reading. What is the temperature down there? It's 11 for me here in Ohio. I think it's uh, 36 degrees out there right now. And it's cold to us. We don't like cold at all. (laughs) Oh. Um, so our program director is not going to be with us tonight. Uh-huh. So we'll just, we'll, we'll have leave to it wing at it. that. Yeah. We'll have to wing it without Stephanie. We, you know, I was reading a message from her. I'll text her. Back Lincoln Street. Second. Hey man. Hey, Lincoln Street put out a video about 30, 45 minutes before we went live and I watched all of it. And it's fantastic. You gotta go watch that guy. Uh, I do have a question for you about that. I'm going to message you. Uh, and it's not about your video. It's about, YouTube in general, but okay. Uh, broke built woodworking wants to know what is the weather here. Yeah, I just said it. Oh, I missed it because I was reading. You did well. It was probably a different question because it was oh. what was the temperature. Oh. Um, <sighs> what type or what brand of bench top band saw nine or ten inches? If I did, I'm sorry, I didn't know that I did. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, so the band saw I have a win. I think it's a nine inch band saw. It's okay for cutting out small parts it's not going to resaw and so i i really don't i don't have any advice for you on resawing because i don't have one that that will resaw the wind does perfectly good i've got a review of it you can go check out where i'm cutting out small parts and things i actually tried to resaw and it's really wavy it's just not made for that the i don't it's just not so i would say if you wanted to be able to resaw some lumber you would probably have to step up into a a more expensive uh type of pencil Thank you, George Mendoza. Thank you. It says, thank you for your service and congratulations on your YouTube career. Absolutely love your channel. Appreciate it, George. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Um, Jake Butcher wants to know, how do you ship larger items online like Etsy? A quote I got from Ship- Shipley was $4,000 for a $150 item. Yeah. What? So what happens is uh, you get 
charge freight shipping and you can go through a freight company, but you're going to have to like build your own crates and secure it and all that stuff. And then it's going to be very expensive. That's why I don't ship anything large. We we've never shipped there. There are people that do it, but just know that there's going to be an added expense. You're not going to be able to sell it for $150 with free shipping because you're going to wind up losing a bunch of money. Did you see Linda Reese's question? Do you no. raise your price on your custom work to match the increase in lumber prices? Yes, absolutely. You have to you have to account for your expenses, whether that be supplies in wood or whatever you're using, saw blades and glue. If all that stuff goes up, then your prices have to go up. It's just business one on one. Um, woodworking YouTubers said that you were referring people to Think Media. First, go check out Woodworking YouTubers. <laughs> True story, y'all. <laughs> True story. True story, bro. <laughs> 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 hey, um, somebody's going to be on their live stream here in about a couple weeks. I don't, I don't want to point no fingers or nothing, but somebody's going to be on the live stream. Yeah. So go follow Woodworking YouTubers right after the stream. Subscribe to them because she's going to be um, on their live stream coming up. When is that that about I'm being supposed to be on there? February the Hold on. 10th, I got to look. 13th. I got to look because things are so crazy. But it'll be a good show. Wow. It's already, the episode's already posted, so you can go hit the remind button. February 15th. February 15th. It'll be right after hours. It'll be on a Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I don't, I don't know what to talk about on there. So yeah, you'll figure I'm it out. I'm going to need them to tell Michael me. Green says, where's the best place to get a brand to put my name on projects? I don't have one. Uh, somebody else in the comments may be able to tell you that. I never got one of those. Uh, Riff says, 15 inch. Did you see his message? I don't even know how to say those words he's saying that he's typing in there. <laughs> helical? Is it helical? helical or... Shelix? Shelix, yeah. What is it? Add on to Dewalt 735. Any thoughts? Rhea, why are you give, using them $5 words that I don't know? <laughs> Shelix is the is the name brand. It's one everybody's going with. Uh, I, I saw somebody post a video today. I didn't get a chance to watch it, but I would probably lean towards Shelix just because it's more well-known. Uh, it's kind of like Coke and you didn't answer rich great value. ink about the stove covers either, right? I'm not there yet. Okay. How did you ship your stove covers? I, so I went to Walmart. You had a process. Yeah, I went to Walmart and they have large shipping boxes there most of the time. When they were sold out, it bummed me out. But I would get like 30, 40 of those boxes at a time. I've actually still got a few out here from when I was shipping them. And I would cut them right on the seam and they would fold out. And then I would just package uh, the stove cover in bubble wrap. And well, I'd wrap it in tissue paper, wrap it in bubble wrap, and then I would fold those boxes and tape them until they looked like a monstrosity. It would just look like a cardboard stove cover. I would tape them all up. And then that's how I shipped them. And usually, so from Arkansas to California would be about 50 bucks to ship. And But from Arkansas to Oklahoma, Missouri, Mississippi, places like that, it was like 18 bucks, something like that. So it wasn't terrible. Uh, has anyone done an instructional video setting up a Delta table saw? No, but there is one who there's a video that I watched how to square up the blade to the table and it's extremely good, extremely detailed. I think you can just search Delta table saw, uh, square up the blade, something like that, and you'll find it. And he does a really good job. He may have another video on setting it up. Really. That's really all you need. As long as that thing is square to the miter slots, you can square up the fence because it has those little adjustment tabs on the fence. You can just screw those in and out and get that square to the blade. Um, Aiden's model trains and other things. Okay, let me find that. Mr. King is on here tonight. Hey, Mr. King. Mr. King. I like Mr. King. So I uh, I'm trying to up. find it. Uh, Mr. King, we come through your neck of the woods uh, mm -hmm. Sunday. We flew mm -hmm. flew from Vegas to Denver. Stayed there for. What, we were just a, yeah, it wasn't very long, long enough to, to grab um, lunch. Yeah. But I got to tell you, out of everywhere we went over the last week, the airport food I got in Denver was like one of the best <laughs> meals I had. She liked it too. It was so good. <laughs> Wasn't it the Denver airport that had the caribou coffee place? Mm -hmm. Yes. Denver no. airport got it going on. Yes. Yes, yes it was. was. Yep. Denver airport is where it's all at. I'm still trying to find that question. Hold on. Jeff Matlin, uh, how's the CNC working for you? It's doing well. I've made some mallet templates with it a couple weeks ago. It's the last time I fired it up. Like I, We've been gone for a week, and uh, I haven't messed with it this week. So, but, yeah, it's doing really good. I have no complaints with it. It's the Shapeco 4XXL. 
What's your favorite router bit? I like white side router bits. They make really, really good router bits. If you buy them from bitsbits.com, they have an Astra coating they put on it. It makes them last a little longer or a lot longer according oh, to them. I found it. And I think 731 works code will no. save you some percentage off if you buy from them. But you can buy white side on Amazon too. Uh, that's I buy my white side bits. That's what kind of like. I'm trying to find it. It was... <sighs> Nicholas hey, Andy. <laughs> says, do you charge a customer for a whole sheet of ply even if the project needs a third? Mm, uh, probably not. Uh, that's I'm, a hard question. It just depends. Like if it if it's a special sheet of ply with it, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not ever going to use another piece of it, then probably. Uh, but if it's something I can actually, if I'm making a project for them, a third, and I can make two more of them, I'll probably just go ahead and make two more of them and then try to sell those. Miss Cheryl, I can't find the question if... <sighs> Can't find it. Favorite tape measure you used most? Anthony Sylvia wants to know. I'm so. I actually, so I was using the Co Melon for a long time, and I like them pretty good. And then uh, with the Soft Stop, um, the what's the name of that company? Whatever company I bought it from, they um, sent a fast cap tape measure, not the floppy one, but the regular fast cap 16 foot. I really like that thing, so that's the one I've been using most often. Um, Samantha Fuentes, I don't know if I said your name right, but I hope I didn't butcher it Sounds too much, good. says that she really likes my nails tonight. Awesome. I'm getting them done tomorrow, though, because they're like two tomorrow. and a half weeks in. Yeah, Tomorrow's tomorrow. a Wednesday. Yeah, I know, but we were gone over the weekend. No, so you can't I got an appointment ways. tomorrow after work, no. so you get to cook supper tomorrow. <laughs> I'll put a brisket on tomorrow. <laughs> How thick uh, is the wood you use for the three-piece mallet? Uh, it's three quarters of an inch each is what I size I use. Find there was a question by Aiden's. I can't find it. Why you do that? What is the two before selling for down there? They're back up to about seven ninety eight or eight footers. I haven't bought any in a, several weeks actually, so I'm not exactly sure. Not sure. Um, so the Tim said that something about um, where caribou comes from and that his son works there. This was actually a caribou coffee. Uh, like a Store, star, like a yeah, Starbucks. like a Starbucks, but caribou, but it wasn't the pods. It was actually ground coffee. We did have fun moose works. Mm -hmm. It was tiring. Oh, uh, Aiden put his question back on there. It was tiring, but it was productive and it was fun. Mm -hmm. Um, says I'm 13 and getting into woodworking. Do you suggest I start a woodworking YouTube channel? Thank that's, you for reposting that, you. Aiden. That's totally up to you, man. I mean, that's, if you want to make content, I tell you, go for it. Mm -hmm. If you start now, you'll be ahead of everybody else by the time you're 18. You know, if everybody else wants to come along and try to create content. But I want to say this to you, Aiden. I have a uh, seventh and eighth grade students. So right around your age, my eighth graders. And they come to me this year and he works, he does this full time now. And so when my students found that out, one of them actually told me, he said, um, do y'all just live on your paycheck because you can't make money on YouTube? And I said, what are you talking about? And he said, well, I told a previous teacher he had had that he wanted to do YouTube. And that teacher told him, said, you need to get a different dream because you cannot make a living on YouTube. Don't listen to anybody tell you that you can't do something. That Man, that hey, troubles me so bad because... Don't do that. I mean, how many people has had dreams to do something that nobody has done before? They get squashed. And they take off after it and they get it. I mean, you look at... Mm -hmm. Finish school. But you look at yeah. uh, Steve Jobs and... Uh, We're by in no way telling you not to, to listen to your parents or listen, yeah. not to go to school. Mike, the Microsoft guy... But if you have guy, a dream, chase it. Like, there's so many people mm -hmm. out there who didn't go to college or anything like that who wound up being super successful. If you have a dream, and, and success doesn't equal dream, so don't mistake that either. But yeah, you have I a dream to Cheryl. something, because there's a lot of people who have a dream to be police officers, firefighters, EMS. Those people, when they reach their dream, they have to work hard for it. But man, if you if you have a dream to do something, chase it. Just go after it. Don't just sit there and let people tell you you can't do it. But you can Super do it. Chance. Thank you, Richard Rison says you, I'm an advanced amateur woodworker that is constantly learning. Thank you for the great info awesome. and inspiration, and thank you for your service. Thank you. Um, yeah, Aiden, work hard. I mean, if college is for you, go to college. 
you can go to college to learn things that can help you on YouTube, mm -hmm. but talk to your parents and see if they're okay with you starting a YouTube channel. In the program that we went to last week, there were three kids in it. Um, their mom and dad came with them, um, but it was two boys and a girl, and they're all 13 younger. or younger. Yeah, they're young. Yeah. So there's, you know, and they were sitting beside us, and there were people older than us in there, and obviously they were in there. So when I went back to college, I was one of the oldest ones in my class mm -hmm. at the time. Don't ever tell, let somebody squash your dream. If you have a dream, work toward it, you yep. know, talk to your parents about it. Talk to teachers about it. But if somebody is a negative Nelly, Miss Cheryl said, I can't believe a teacher said that <laughs> a teacher really said that to a student. And it, <laughs> it's very perturbing yeah. sometimes, you it's know. It's frustrating, but, but I mean, there's people out there. Like, there's people that don't understand things. And anyway, get off my soapbox now. <laughs> Jeff Crow says, what Morgan channels do you follow? So I like to watch Wood Whisperer. James King's a good one. I think he's on here tonight. Yep. And uh, oh. so uh, Fix This, Build That. I watch him. Uh, there's a lot of good ones. 432 Woodworking is a new one that's good. Woodworking YouTubers is a good one. Uh, Lincoln Street, probably my up and coming favorite. Uh, he doesn't... Uh, he, I just like his his comedy style that he uses. He, he keeps you very interested and it's very informative. I Man, there's, there's a bunch. I'm sure I'm I'm missing a bunch of them, but that's off the top of my head. And I like watching it. The ears get clean. So no, yeah, no. yeah. Uh, Crystal McG McQuay says I'm gonna stick around as long as I can. I'm passing a kidney stone, so if I have to leave, no, it was unwilling. <laughs> um, Crystal, our prayers are with you. I just had one of those that lasted several weeks. Haven't had any pain for the last several days, mm. probably in a week or so. Um, there's some stuff that people have posted. Y'all, uh, I don't remember what it was. There's something that you can get from Amazon that somebody had posted. Yeah, really. So if you're on here tonight, post the that stuff you can order from Amazon. But Crystal Light works on it. And your name's Crystal, so, you know. <laughs> but Crystal Light helps pass a kidney stone. Yes, Michelle. I agree. Uh, she says, shame, shame, shame. Teachers should encourage creativity, respect dreams, and appreciate other options. Yep. That's what I tell my students all the time. It, It's so crushing because I've had teachers like that before when I was young. And, you know, um, they didn't expect me to be anything because I had a brother that had come through who was a troublemaker and always getting arrested and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So I, I know what it's like to... To have nothing expected of you. And it's not nice. Mm -hmm. Dura Crypto Max, welcome to our Two Before Supporter Club. Hey, thank you. So glad to have you. Bye, Aiden. He said he has to go now. Later, man. Bryce Boyd, how did you re first reach your following back when you started? Do you see? Did you see yourself being where you're at now in life? Uh, second question, no. <laughs> I had no idea. Uh, and how did I reach my following? It took me three months to get one subscriber on YouTube. And no it kidding. wasn't me. From May to August. I, she probably subscribed after we went over 100,000, if we're being honest. I didn't know and that so, he was even on there for a while. Uh, I, I don't remember yes. worrying about subscriber count too much. Uh, right when I started, they changed the, the rules where you had to have 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 watch hours to get monetized. And that was really the goal of the channel. When I started, I was sharing my stuff, but I wanted to bring in some extra money too. And while it's like very little, like pennies a week when you first start, it adds up over time if you consistently post. So don't get too caught up in numbers and things when you're first starting out because it's rare that a channel just goes from zero way up on the first few videos. Yeah. Give it time. Smoking Reptiles Homestead said a teacher's job should be to educate and inspire. I absolutely agree. As a teacher, I focus on what my students can do and try to help them with things that they can't do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It should not be anything other than that. I agree. Um, Michael Poline, 1972, do you use hand tools instead of power tools? Sometimes, but not rare, not often. Like if I can use a power tool, like if it's, if I'm going to cut two before and a half and, and there's a, there's a hand saw laying there and a, and a circular saw, I'm grabbing a circular saw every single time. <laughs> but I have some, I have a little small jack plane. I've got our block plane. I've got chisels, things like that. If I need to chisel something out, I'll use that, but it's, I don't use a whole lot of it. Uh, Aubrey Hayes, I don't know if I'm saying your name right. I'm sorry. How did you plan your time to woodwork before doing it full time? It was before work and after work or on my days off. And one thing that helped me was I worked swing shifts. So I'd work in the evenings a lot, 2 to 11, 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. 
and she would be at work all day. So I would actually mm-hmm. go out and woodwork when she went to work from till about, I don't know, about one o'clock, come in take a shower and get ready for work and then go to work two to 11. So basically I was putting in two, as we're basically working two jobs. And mm-hmm. so that's, he I really did that was. for several years, uh, making videos and things like that. So mm-hmm. it just takes a lot of work and a lot of time. Uh, like I said, I was kind of benefited by the fact that I had the swing shift because if, if we worked the same shift, I wouldn't have done that. But he would come in before I would get off work. At the time, I think I was still doing tutoring, so mm-hmm. I'd work till 5.30. Yep. He would come in and clean and cook supper and have everything ready. Like, he did all of it. I don't know how you did it, but he did all of it. Well, you know. Now I can't get him to fold a towel. Well, dang. <laughs> I don't let him fold towels. He can't do it good. Next <laughs> Butler says the pop. Question for the pocket hole king. That's me. What size screw do you use for one by to half inch ply? A one inch screw. What happened? Super chest. Super Thank you, great grandpa. <laughs> he say stopping by to say hello. Thank you, great grandpa. Hey. Yep. Do you know what time it is? Power tip time. She don't think I got one, but I do. <laughs> I knew he did. Back to he that young man. To me. No, I don't. Back to the young man. <laughs> Saw Incorporated. Hundred percent chase your dreams. I'm gonna keep screaming that from the mountaintops, y'all, because mm. it comes true maybe you fall chasing the dream you know it it happens people sometimes stumble and fall that door closes for them but another one will open is get on your knees and pray about it i I can't tell you how much uh that matters in your life we pray about everything Uh, we pray about safety and trips we pray about uh uh, for others we pray for our business uh and i just just pray about it if you if you really believe that you're meant to do something, pray about it, ask God's direction, and then chase it. And don't listen to the naysayers. Don't. Don't listen to them. Uh, McMath Woodwork says that he's just stopping in while he hey, can McMath. tonight, popping in. Uh, and he said he was glad to have us back. And glad Lloyd's in the house. Hey, Lloyd. whoop, whoop. Lloyd's in the house. Ron's Wood Shack. <laughs> hey, Look Ron. at that. <laughs> I like it. I, do too. I, too. I like it, like it. Uh, yes, thank you. Our Georgia Peach is reminding you if you want to post a question, mark it with a Q. Yep, and if Q. it gets skilled, please yep. post it again. Yeah, post it again because I may have missed it. Yeah, it, I likely missed mine it. Mine jumps. Does um, it? Yeah, so I'm trying to go in order on your questions, but they jump. So if it gets way up there filtered up, please post it again. I'm curious if we're on Facebook yet. No, yeah. we're not. I just checked. Yeah, what you, the hey? You ain't on there. Hey, 4321, he says knows, stop. It's collaborate and listen. Oh. <laughs> If anybody knows how to work Restream. Okay. So let me give a shout out to our states really quick. We have St. Martin, Florida, Arkansas, Alabama, Illinois, Washington, Australia, Georgia, Texas, Connecticut, Alaska, California, Ohio, South Dakota, Kentucky, North Carolina, South Carolina, Oklahoma, Michigan, Indiana, West Virginia, uh, Canada, New York, Louisiana, Wisconsin, Tennessee, Iowa, Minnesota, Vermont, Utah, Delaware, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and my favorite. Canada? Mississippi. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Did you say Canada? I did say Canada. Hey. I just like Mississippi. Buddy says, how much did you sell your wooden flags for? When I was selling them, they were 150 and I was, well, nope. I started at 150 and I went to 225 because 150 I couldn't make a profit. Yeah. So I was selling them for 225 at the time and that was at the time, the lumber prices were what they were. was a lot, lot smaller. Question from Christopher Garcia says, do you ever record videos that aren't posted uh, to document the process, difficult, intricate projects? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, there may be one or two in the past that I've yeah. videoed that I didn't post. Uh, that's rare. Usually, yeah. usually if I video it, I'll edit it up and post it some, somehow or another. Uh, Mike Saxon asked a question. I don't even know if you can answer this question. Okay. Mike, this is a really hard question. How much time do you spend each week doing video edits? A lot. <laughs> like, so today I spent... From morning till night, I'm telling you, all the time. So I got a guy that helps me on some videos. That, I think he's in Bali or somewhere. He's in another country. And so he, he does some videos. So the, like the dust collection uh, video a couple of weeks ago, he video that one, the one that was split screen and stuff. And then... He's done some others for me. The saw stop video was edited by him. Um, he anyway. So I try to going forward. I want to try to offload as much of that as possible because that takes up a ton of time. But right now, I would say probably four or five days a week I'm editing, 
And mm -hmm. at some point, Constantly. like today I edited, I got up this morning, I fulfilled all of our orders, Outlaws Board Butter on our website. Go check it out. So <laughs> I, I filled some of that, all the orders that were pending and shipped those out. And then I got in the garage and recorded the video. And then I, the rest of the day I've been editing. I've got most of it done. I hope to have it done by tomorrow at lunch and then I can work on something else. But yeah, it takes a lot of time. PJ Barker wants to know, how do you get yourself up when you are getting discouraged? I'm, I'm pretty hard on myself. He so really is. If I don't. So mm -hmm. when, when you say that, the, the first thing that comes to my mind is getting up to, to start my day, which is about 4.30 in the morning. I, I got to get my workout in. Mm -hmm. If I don't get up, which there are times when Coda's snuggling with me and I don't want to get up. We call him Dr. Nuggles. Yeah, he, we page Dr. Nuggles. And so we, <laughs> we was, he real nuggly in the morning. And so I don't want to get out of bed and I'll actually talk to myself pretty harshly. I'm like, get your lazy butt out of bed. What are you going to do? Just lay here all day and get fat. You better get up. And so I'm like really hard on myself and 99.9% and .9 of the time I get How do you up. push yourself on work when you're discouraged? Though? So on work, I just, man, I just, you just got to bite the bullet. I mean, it's, especially when you have orders coming in or I've kind of, I've kind of put this. I um, miss Kansas and New Hampshire. Sorry, y'all. I kind of put this. Uh, stipulation on myself that I'm going to put out two videos a week. And so I've been sticking to that pretty hard regularly. We On Christmas week, holiday weeks like that, I purposely don't put out videos if it's close to a ho main holiday because not a lot of people watch those anyway because they're going to spend time with their family. But I, I just I just force myself to do it. I, I really don't know how to motivate or uh, you know what I mean? I, I just don't. I don't know how. It's really that's a hard question. I think it's more of a it's a personal thing. I don't know. Yeah. Um. A lot of times, there's different things that can get you down. So depending on what it was that kind of knocked you back a few steps. Yeah. Sometimes. I mean, if it was a serious family illness or a loss in the family, like. But I, mean, I think I think what she's talking time. about more than anything is that sometimes it's. It's discouraging when stuff is not moving as fast mm. as you want it to move oh, or not being ex as successful as you want it to be as fast. Mm. That's kind of what I think of when you ask that, PJ. And, um, I that, get, you know, he a lot of times, honestly, when he gets in that frame of mind, I have to make him stop. And my my thing with him usually is, okay, how far has God brought you? Yeah. Is God doing this or are you doing this? Yep. Is it in our timing or in his? And when I ask him those things, that usually kind of kind of a reset. rewires, yeah, resets his mind back. And I'll tell you, if yeah. I put out a video, YouTube statistics to show you one one through ten of the last videos you, the last ten videos you posted mm -hmm. at that exact time. So the it's like a rolling ten videos. Imagine you put out all ten videos right now, and it just tracks all ten of them like this. To see how they're performing. The if it's ten, if it's eighth, ninth, or tenth, bum city, like I am bummed out about it. I'm mm -hmm. like I didn't, I didn't do my research good enough. I didn't know what you guys wanted to see. I, I just made a total error there. Like I, is this? But a if it's first judgment? or second, he's like fist bumping the air over there. Yeah, he's like from Jersey Shore, y'all. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Tiger Tooth Five. If you could only have one tool, what would it be? Table saw. All day long. That was because quick. well, you can do so much with a table saw. You can cut miters on a table saw. You can cut rip cuts on a table saw. You can cut dados on a table saw. You can make jigs for all kinds of cuts on the table saw. You can join on a table saw. Table saw all day. Mike Venatosi, I, I probably butchered that. I'm trying to decide on a first project to sell that would catch some eyes. Thinking about a coffee table, just getting started with my small shop. What do you think or recommend? Stove covers. Hmm. Okay, yeah, for a small project. But if you want to build something sort of like a coffee table, you know, let me tell you what I would say. What caught a lot of eyes every time he built one and we staged it. I don't even know exactly what you called them, but it was the, uh, we made one for the lady that that's a school teacher here that bakes and stuff. Console. Well, on the channel, they're called Farmhouse Console Table. She, I think there's I have plans for that Didn't one? we call it some? I don't remember. But I'm telling it's you, basically like a kitchen stand or a kitchen aid stand. It, they, they work as a, a sofa table. They can work as some type of bar cart in the kitchen or a coffee center. Or she used it. She bakes on the side. It's a school teacher, and so she got it to put her kitchen aids on and all of the attachments, mm. and then some of her bakeware and stuff. But it's open shelving. The skinnier. Mm. I'm telling you, if yeah, you built one of, of those and you staged it, 
that catches a woman's eye so quick because Mm -hmm. they can be used as entryway tables. They can be used in the laundry room. They can be used in a bathroom, in a bedroom, in the hallway, in the living room, in the kitchen. I mean, they are so versatile. In an office, I mean... Those those things, we had people wanting them all the time, but he didn't have time to build them. That was in because you can make them specific to a space, height wise, you know, width, mm-hmm. everything, depth, everything. I'm Usually t- the ones I built, awesome. I built four or five of them, three or four, I don't remember. About 30 inches wide, 16 inches deep or so, yeah. two shells underneath the top shelf. It was, I mean, they were pretty simple to build. And you said you had a small shop. Um, yeah, you. Becca says you can make make to tweak it to your needs and boom Mm -hmm. that's exactly what it was with those things we had women contacting Mm -hmm. us saying i need one of these (laughs) but he didn't have time to make them i wanted one of them and i never got one um but i mean we ended up doing other stuff later the i wanted it for coffee and we did end up building a coffee bar Mm -hmm. but um i'm telling you (laughs) those things if you want to catch some attention build it stage it you'll get it Christopher Garcia says, if you kept selling stove covers, would you have automated the process? Most likely, if I could have automated it, it would have saved a ton of time. Because the, really, the thing that took time on those was make them out of spruce. So I would stain them, and the stain would have to wait eight hours before you put some poly or something on there. But yeah, if you could automate the handles uh, being made and all that, especially with a CNC, yeah, definitely. Uh, let's see. Keen Lucian, what do you think about electric hand planers to surface boards? I tried those, man, and I hate that thing so bad. I want to throw it in the yard. I still got it. Paid like 20 bucks for it, and <laughs> it was a win. But it just kept, I, I just guess I don't know how to use it because it would leave big streaks and everything. And nothing cut the same. I just, I, I didn't have good luck with it, and I just didn't like it. Josh Patton wants to know, how do you feel about undermount drawer slides? I think they look fantastic. I mm. haven't gotten any yet. I've seen Bourbon Moth install them. They look cool. Bourbon Moth, that's another channel I follow. Ryan Busser wants to know, when first starting out, how did you set your prices to where you didn't undercharge yourself or, or overcharge? He did undercharge himself yeah, I, every I'd time. I'd run it by her. Most of, if you go, we got a pricing video and it, uh-huh. it details exactly what I do. Go back and hey, watch that video. What I need to price is that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, do that. Um, what's your next tool on your wish list and more space doesn't count? You know who asked it, don't you? I saw it. <laughs> That's why you, I tried <laughs> to ask him. Like, tell him what your next, your wish list. Uh, Johnny Velez says. <laughs> <laughs> no, not for him. You tell me. <laughs> so Johnny Velez, are you still building furniture? I asked because I don't see you making them anymore. Yes. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, well, about a month or two months ago, I made a coffee table with breadboard ends. If you mm-hmm. missed that one, go check it out. And then, uh, what else did I make? I made something else. Oh, uh, we did a closet build. Uh, that's not furniture, but it's closet build. Uh, the reason being, uh, that we talked about on the members only live stream, the project videos just don't get the views. They uh, really don't. If you go watch Steve Ramsey. We're not going to completely stop no, making stopping them. them. Steve Ramsey and uh, Mathis Wandel talked about project videos on their channels being down uh, on Steve Ramsey's channel this week. He posted and they just, they just don't get the views like they used to. And so I can put out a video with five tools in it and it's like goes gangbusters number one. And I put out a project video and it's eighth, ninth or 10th. Yeah. That tells me the masses don't want to watch it. I know a lot of you do. I will continue to make project videos because I like making them and they're just fun to do. And so that, and that's what the channel has built on. So we're still going to do those, but most people don't watch them. So that's what I'm getting H2 at. says that there H2. are build plans out there on those tables. Raptor awesome. Woodwork says he made the one from your video as an entrance table. Everyone entrance who sees table. it wants, yeah. mm-hmm. wants one. Yeah. Though they, I'm telling you, you're marketing to mostly women when you're staging stuff. I'm just saying, yeah. well, we, we're the marketing. shoppers. If you look at statistics, she's got a video on this channel that talks about who the shopper is, and it's the the women out of anything. It doesn't matter if it's for the home. If if I'm buying, buying stuff, it. I always talk to him about it. But when it comes down to my opinion, don't count. That's what no, she's trying to say. I'm not trying to say that. Your opinion <laughs> always counts. I don't buy a purse without him saying he likes it too. Like I really don't. But when it comes down to stuff for the house, he's gonna trust what I'm saying on it, and ultimately. I'm the one that feels like, you know, I'm the one going to decorate it. I'm the one going to design things around it. I'm going to 
basically pick well, it out. So all the furniture yeah. builds on the channel, not all of them, but a lot of them that's in our house now, she come up with a design. She come up with what she wanted, and then I build it to her specs. Yeah. Um, and Marion Dorset says, how much does a Malibu Ken cost? <laughs> they are seven dollars. Yeah, a Malibu Ken or seven dollars. Um, That's yeah, a drink, y'all. It's uh, a PJ, tea, I not, like not staging alcohol. outside sometimes too. Uh, she says Sunny Day makes good picks. Mm-hmm. We staged outside for a long time when he was building furniture. We would take stuff outside and set it up. Matter of fact, the, the only the DIY bar. Uh, yeah. video is staged outside. It's, Just make sure that when you advertise it, that you're advertising it as an indoor piece. Uh, that was the one thing that we had to be careful of. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Randall Ola says, I love your content. You, I learned so much from it. <laughs> Rich <laughs> says, my wife gets mad when I say I'm not buying something because I can build it. I don't really get mad about that. Mine is usually, okay, but when are you going to build it for me? Because I'm one of those people, if I want it, I want it like right now or yesterday. Yeah. (laughs) Steve Wood says, I do Tristan. Steve Wood says, have you fired off a brake cartridge on the saw stop yet? No. I try to keep my fingers away from the blade, but if it happens, I have an extra in the drawer just in case. Man, I'm telling you, I, I don't know. I've done some dumb stuff, but I try my best to keep my fingers away from that blade. There's a video going around on Instagram where a guy reaches in between the Rivy knife and the blade and sets it off. Did you totally f- staged? Bravo says it's lost a finger woodworking a good name. Uh it's a it's an unfortunate name if it's true. <laughs> I think he was just asking. Uh Brent Jenkins says personally I would and do watch project videos more often than reviews Super or shop chat. tours. Uh thank you, Mary and Dorset. <laughs> Made my first table saw cuts today. Next That's Malibu awesome. Ken is on me. Appreciate <laughs> That's that, man. awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Brent, a lot of people, you know, there are some people that want those build videos, but mm-hmm. and we're still gonna make yeah, them. Yeah, we're still making them. The problem is he doesn't really have time anyway to build certain things. Um, he's always doing content. And in order for us to build something, it's more than likely going to be something that's for us. So, you know, it, sometimes now, it just takes I will time. tell you, though, my son uh, is getting his first apartment by himself. He's mm-hmm. moved into a two-bedroom apartment, so an extra room he'll have. And he wants a gaming desk. So we're going to build a gaming desk, one that's decked out and hopefully is really cool. That's going to be a build video. My other son's wanting some shelving uh, for his gaming stuff in his room. So we're going to build some really cool shelves in there. Those will be project videos. We just laid, uh, or still we have one room left, but we have engineered hardwood flooring we put down. So that'll be a project video of how mm-hmm. to put your own hardwood flooring down. And then we did the closet build. Uh, I thought, did you already you know, talk about the fireplace? Oh yeah. We're going to do, I don't know when, probably maybe closer to summer. I don't know. Soon. Uh, it sounds awful a, saying closer a, to summer. A, uh, what do you call that thing? A uh, fireplace uh, insert build. Mm-hmm. And then also in the spring, I really want to make a grilling station, an outdoor grilling station. We have a nice deck. I would like to come off of the deck with like a little offshoot and put my grill covered area, maybe maybe even a sink or something there to wash up with. I think that would be cool. That would just be a cool build, I think. Rich says, game and desk for my inner nerd. Great news. Uh, we're going to really try to make it a cool game and desk, mm-hmm. too. Our It's our 24-year-old. He's getting his own apartment. Um, he's he's really into that kind of stuff. And since he's going to have his, a be- he's got an extra bedroom as a gaming room, um, I think we can really kind of go outside of the box. And, yeah, he, that's his new phrase, y'all, G it up. Um, we, you know what? Uh, something that's been really cool in pictures if you're staging those of you that are doing those build videos this may sound kind of weird but g and up the background could be as simple as putting in a new light fixture in your house Mm -hmm. and having that in the background of a picture we've been taking pictures of certain things we've been changing out light fixtures Search online for light fixtures that are on clearance. If you know how to change them out yourself, then it's not very expensive. Make that part of your backdrop. Like, it just change out one light fixture in a room. I've I've had a lot of people send me a message and say it's hard to, to stage because I don't have an area of my house that staging looks good in. Paint, like, one back wall or something mm-hmm. and go to a thrift store and find some old looking like baskets or something and hang them on there and change out a 
light fixture and maybe a cool lamp in the corner. And I'm telling you, then you'll have a good way to stage. Mm. Staging makes a world of difference. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle Cochelle. 10 minute warning. Thank you. She's our honorary program Thank director you, tonight. Would Thank you, you, Scruffy Santa. Just a way to say Thank thanks you. for all you do and the help you have provided me. <laughs> Thank R you. Rogue Jedi says, would you use treated wood for outside projects or untreated? I use untreated. I really actually don't like treated wood. Treated wood's for ground contact from what I can gather. And and it's really, really wet a lot of times when you get it. And when it starts drying out, it just splits all to pieces. And it just doesn't it doesn't last as long, in my opinion. I, I would much prefer to use pine or something <laughs> like that and use a good outdoor oil. Cabot makes a good Australian Cabot oil, outdoor oil. Or you can use cedar, cypress, redwood, or more outdoor-ready project for outdoor weather uh, resistance. But pine does just fine. I've got There's a bench on our deck. Or it's on the front porch now. We've had that thing for four or five years. It's made out of pine. Perfectly fine. So I had read Michelle's message. Michelle Cochelle's our Georgia peach, mm -hmm. if y'all don't already know that. And then I saw that her message got put in timeout by 4321. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, hid that message. You weren't supposed to see that, Amy Ella. <laughs> he was just trying to hide her 10-minute warning. That's hilarious. Y'all are y'all cracked me up. Uh, Christopher Garcia says, how do you account for the cost of consumables in a project like saw blade wear, softer wood versus hardwood? I never really took that into account on saw blades. Uh, if you're using like a bunch of glue, you might could throw that in there as part of the cost. But saw blades, that's like, it's kind of, for me personally, when I was just making stuff, I was making it all out of softwood. So saw blade lasts a very long time as long as you kept it clean. Pepper7144 says that we need to build a Murphy bed for that gaming room. Well, Ooh. it's an apartment. so Do I those wanna... have to attach to a wall? I think, I mean, you could build one that does it. Self-standing? Yeah. Yeah, I think he'll probably end up putting like a futon or something. Actually, he probably won't. He'll, he'll probably just yeah. have chairs he and, and a gaming desk. He ain't going with him. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Yeah, he's not going to want any sleep over. <laughs> this is his first time living alone. And so it's, he's pretty excited we tried to pawn off our yeah. 19 year old with him too and he, have it. yeah he was like no congratulations mason on his uh first custom order this weekend that's awesome oh that's awesome congrats y'all congratulate mason that's awesome um gabe hunt says project videos may be down due to material costs and he doesn't think they'll remain down. i don't think it is you know what i think i think that um i think what steve ramsey and Matho mathis was talking about is that it's just oversaturation. There's tons of those videos out there. The ones you see do really well are those really extreme, like they use 500 gallons of epoxy and all that stuff. Although one of my other channels I follow a lot, Blacktail Studios, he does a lot of project stuff and his are pretty cool. So, yeah. but he's also, some of those are like 20 and $30,000 um, slab tables and stuff. Holy so they're crap. really expensive. Mm. So yeah, I, I don't know. I have mixed feelings on why they're not performing. I really do think it's just one lack of attention span and then uh, oversaturation. But well, I still like making them. So Angela Adelina probably said your name wrong. Says hello from San Diego. You guys are a huge inspiration to me as Thank I'm you. getting ready to start my woodworking business. All of the videos give me the confidence I need. Thank you. Awesome. That's awesome, Angela. I love it that more women are getting into woodworking. <laughs> Love it. Steve Wool says, does your son do woodworking too? No. Oh, dang he it, did it cut jumped. some of these uh, boards on us for the floor. He was on the miter saw. I showed him how to use the table saw. I watched him while he used the table saw. But the miter saw, he was getting pretty good at. It jumped on me. I, was, I had all the questions going. Dang it. And it jumped. And now all I see is the com convo between Becca and Mo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> dang it. I don't know why it does that daryl wants to know what ratio do you use for your board butter that's a trade secret that's a trade secret no, there's a video on the yeah. channel it's uh i use four, four cups of oil just a little over four cup four cups oh, of I mineral oil to one pound of beeswax it makes it nice and waxy i don't want it runny and sloppy so it's a good it's almost like paste wax and mm -hmm. it goes on good comes off good I think I found a good there, mix. There's news coming on that, too. Alex Hernandez says, I'm new to the wood world. I'll be attempting to make one of your mallets this weekend. Awesome. That keep is post, fantastic. Keep us posted on that. Yes, absolutely. Kent, 
Uh, he's been a where's it? There it is. A one by six supporter for seven months hey, now. Says hey. nice being able to buy exotic hardwoods locally now for me. Can't oh, wait awesome. to start making some custom cutting boards. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's that'll be great. You need to post pictures of those. Aunt Mary's pals says sixty five year old woman here just started woodworking two years ago and love it. It's awesome. Thank you, Peak Hour. Thank you. Just started out in woodwork. Your channel has been a big help. Thanks from Australia. Hey, down awesome. under. Yep. Awesome. Trade that would be a cool place to go, I think. <laughs> Michelle Cochelle said, trade secret. Matt is the most transparent and real people ever. <laughs> We've I mean, got some good... Uh, we sell it, and yeah. we do pretty good with it, but, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like it's a secret what that stuff's made out of. Yeah. The ingredients are on the package. It says mineral mm -hmm. and beeswax. But we like to offer it because... Um, it gives people who don't want to make it an, an, mm -hmm. uh, an affordable option to get board butter. I'm looking over there because there's like the board what, 30 cans over there. Out over yeah. there. And, uh, Cause I just made up a new batch Monday, but it's just, I mean, if you want to make it yourself, you can certainly do it. You mm. just put it in a crock pot and melt it together and then pour it into tins and then let it cool. And then, but we have some, we have some really fun stuff coming up for y'all mm -hmm. too. It's going to take us a little bit. Yeah. But Question says, my wife loves doing small DIY crafts and I would like to introduce her to some bigger tools. Any suggestion for us to be uh, do so being she feel, feel, feels afraid of power tools? I would just say if she wants to do that, just take it slow and trying to guide her through it. There's a yeah. video, Scott Walsh did a video. My wife, my girlfriend tries, or I try to teach my girlfriend woodworking. It just come out a couple of weeks ago. I watched it uh, a couple of days ago. It's actually a very interesting video. You can go check that out, but just... Just like you would show anybody else, just yeah, show, hey, like, don't put your hand there. It'll cut it off, you know, kind of thing. And I've never been a tool, a power tool kind of person, mm -hmm. but I get out there with this big saw yeah. and, yeah. I can use the Craig, all that, the Craig tools, all that stuff now, mm -hmm. yeah. The oh, only thing nice. I'm not really, really good with is the, the nail gun because it's so heavy and you mm -hmm. have to pull it so hard. That's the battery power one. Yeah, so I don't do so well with that, but... Says, so have you, I have been attempting to make items out of pallets. What are your thoughts on pallet wood? I mean, a lot of people do good pallet mm -hmm. wood projects. There's nothing wrong with that if that's what you want to do. Just be cautious on making. I wouldn't make anything that food's going to touch on a pallet because you never know what was carried on that pallet previously. It may have been some type of chemical or something. Mm -hmm. That's really the only caution I would have there. Becca says that if she likes small crafts, a scroll saw may be a nice try. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. Well, a matter of fact. Where is it? Oh, it's up there. Y'all can't see it. Uh, Mr. Jackie McAllister made us a scroll saw image of me and her. Let me. Mo, yes, you can let Mia come in here and say bye to everyone since we only have like three minutes left. Three minutes. Uh, Daryl says, my wife has been helping me glue cutting boards. I helped him do some mm -hmm. of that too. Yep. Yeah. Um, Brad B says, as someone who used to refurbish pallets, watch out for nails. Yeah, yes. very sure. Yes. Mike Saxon says, what's the best way to figure out what sells in your particular area? It's really trial and error. That's kind of what I went through. There was a couple of projects. I'd made a coffee table. It was a funky looking coffee table. And I made that thing and I'd like to never sold it. Uh, the outdoor stuff really sold well, especially during the springtime. It'll it'll usually sell a little better uh, for the outdoor projects, things like that. But it's just kind of a lot of trial and error there. So if you don't know, this is our grand dog, Mia. She gets really excited when it's We've almost been gone time. for an hour. Oh my gosh, it was hilarious when we come back after being gone for a week. She did like 15 laps around she our did. yard. <laughs> Look, there's hair floating in there. She's wanting you. She just won't go. Yeah. <laughs> do you use your tea track accessories Becca. often? Hi, Miss Becca. Jeff says, do you use your tea track accessories often? Yes, I do. I use them quite a lot. I'm extremely glad I put those on the workbench. If you don't do tea tracks, you can do bench dogs or something if you make a traditional workbench. But I'm really, I really like those T-Tracks. What I use the most are those little clamps that look like that with a screw on top. I use those more than anything. I've got some push style clamp things. They don't work that great. Um, oh, the the bench cookies that stand up off the bench cookies that stand up off the T-Track. Those are excellent. But yeah, I use those quite a bit. Yeah. Um Mike says, looks and acts like my dog, LOL. She gets so excited, but y'all, this dog, she's broke. Like, mm -hmm. there's something. Mentally, there is something wrong with this dog. There is um, nothing wrong with my child. <laughs> but she is the sweetest thing. She's yeah. so sweet. 
Uh, Josh Patton says, what do you charge for ingrain cutting boards? I actually don't make ingrain Raymond cutting boards. Um, Jeff Allred is on here. On he would screen. probably be able to answer Ginger. that much better than I can. Damon's dog, Ginger, is barking at Mia. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Cassandra says, what a crazy girl. She's so cute. Look at her. She's just uh, PJ, she wild. is a Havanese. She's very similar to the Bashans, though. My sister has a Bashan that's the same color. Um, <laughs> he don't like it when she does that. And Mo does it to him all night. Bill Kahn <laughs> says, where would you be in woodworking if you had not got all the donated tools? Well, I mean, I guess we could start from the beginning because my dad <laughs> let me borrow a circular saw and a drill. And so uh, I guess I wouldn't have started. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I've been very blessed, I can tell you that. <laughs> Becca said all the dog moms say nothing's wrong <laughs> okay y'all it is 8 o'clock thank you so much for being back with us thank you very much we it missed was awesome. it last week we but we were so thank you so much married man uh, for yeah. covering that for us and for all the moderators if you're not subscribed there, to woodworking youtubers go subscribe to them after yes, this thing please. she will be on there on February 15th on the live stream mm-hmm. her not me I won't be on there and so it'll be just her and uh, there's another lady that's going to join them uh, talking about being sucked into YouTube, basically. <laughs> <laughs> we, you know, that that's, uh, yep. We can talk about that. Yep. Thank y'all so much for being back with us. We hope that awesome. you have a wonderfully blessed week. Thank you. <laughs> See you next time. I got to hit the button.